Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. I right, salute. So Asian doll, please tell me you're not going out sad like this. So you've been dating this dude for months, knowing he got a his ex pregnant while with you. She even got his name tattooed. Not King Von tattooed on his real name, Davon. You could have at least lied, well, I'm a fan. No, you put his real name on there. And then a couple months got it covered up. Now, mind you, she got the tattoo when his ex was like four to five months pregnant. How are you letting the dude that you got like one million more followers than? You can't be going out sad like that. You let a one hit wonder get his ex pregnant. And you did nothing. You stayed with him. Like you was some insecure bum that has no money or something. This the type of shit you do when you just down and out. You just take any jailbird off the street. Cause you just want some dick, but you know you ain't gonna get nobody that's good. So you just take any dude. But you a multi-millionaire, famous rapper, and you letting this dude do you dirty. But y'all let me know what y'all think. So Queen Kima, who is King Von's baby mother, had the baby. King Von calls it Grandson Junior. Apparently, it's a junior. But the mother refused to say that. She even said she gave him her last name instead of his. He wasn't there to see his baby born. Because apparently he's on house arrest. But I'm pretty sure he could have called his PO or whoever and asked to be at his baby birth. And I think they would have gave it to him. Maybe not. Because you know these motherfuckers be racist. They, they love to shit on rappers. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, the and I'm out. Like exaggerated to me. I get hurt it, but I get hurt it. It hurt it, but it wasn't like it wasn't like something. Oh, let me show y'all this. This is so cute. This little little outfit. Mm -hmm. take pictures tomorrow. And what's his name? Springfield Boy. <clears throat> so far his name is Springfield Boy. Ain't that right little man? Your name's Springfield Boy. That what they call you. What? Oh. Bennett. No, they call him Springfield Boy, but that's my last name. And he's a boy. You spit your pacifier out. And then you want to go to sleep without it. The baby is right here by me. In this little thing. He's right here. Anyways. I don't know. I just feel like you got to experience it for yourself. But it definitely wasn't as bad as people was telling me, like, oh, you're going to feel like you're dying. You know? It hurt it, but it wasn't like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't hurting that bad. Like, mm -hmm. like. 
I feel like my back tattoo hurt it more than labor. My back tattoo, I feel like I was in the back. Pushing was, so I ended up getting the epidural eventually because I was so scared that, um, like, in the middle of it. Okay, so, like, as I was having my contractions, his heart rate was dropping low. So, um, they didn't, they was just, they, like, turning the contractions off, putting them back on or whatever. They put me on like a contraction monitor. His heart, his heart rate was dropping low fast. And then, um, I'm just like, just give me the epidural because I didn't know like how bad it was gonna get. Cause I was six, I was like six centimeters. Um, I was five centimeters. Well, gonna be well. Like around six centimeters, yeah. When they check me, and then they was like, "Whatever you feel right now, it's gonna be ten times worse." So I'm like, "This shit already hurt. Let me just go ahead and get that epidural. Fuck it." Cause I was, I was, um, I was in labor too fucking long. I thought I was having my baby on the eighth, but I had him on the ninth. That shit, that shit was hurting. But it wasn't like, I didn't feel like I was finna die though. It just was hurting. Then my contractions, they was like, first they was like 20 minutes apart. And then they was, you know, getting close to like 10 or whatever. Hmm. But the, ep the epidural didn't hurt. It didn't hurt getting the epidural. And people told me it was going to hurt getting it. It didn't hurt. It burned, it pinched, burned, and it was like a trickle, but it wasn't like, it wasn't hurting. Um, what else? That was it. I pushed for an hour and 30 minutes straight. Literally an hour and 30 minutes straight. My contractions was two minutes apart for an hour and 30 minutes straight. That's how long it took me to push him out. Because he was being a stubborn baby. So every two minutes, for an hour and 30 minutes straight, I was pushing. Yeah, he wasn't trying to come out. But you was ready, boo. I was ready for you. I thought I was having him on the eighth. <sighs> Cause I went into the hospital on the eighth. I'm sad now. I'm getting tired. I got these bumps on my face now. Pimple right there. Mm. Yeah, I have another baby again. It didn't scare me to the point where I'm like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was talking shit. Like, while I was in the, it's just the process, see. Everybody's process is different. Some people labor be three hours. Mine was like 19 hours. It's just the process that make you not want to do it no more because it takes. My, my label took a long time. Some people label don't take that long, so. You literally have to see for yourself, like, 
literally. And then he did, um, I did have to get stitches. I ain't never asked him how many. You sound like me, I asked my best friend. I'm like, do you miss being pregnant? Not yet. I enjoy my pregnancy though, like, I enjoy being pregnant. I'm not gonna lie, like, I didn't have no, besides my first trimester, having sickness and my hormone level change. My pregnancy was fine. I didn't get no fat feet. I didn't gain a lot of weight. My nose didn't get big. I looked the, the same way. From behind, you couldn't tell I was pregnant. I was eight months pregnant when I was recorded that video in them pink pants. I was literally eight months. People be big as a house eight months. So my pregnancy wasn't there. Like, he did not keep me up all night either when I was pregnant. Like, I slept through the whole night. Chill, super chill. So. Oh yeah, and the lavender, I did, um, I did put on, um, a lavender diffuser. I should plug my shit up right now. I did put, plug up the lavender diffuser up and it really did help. It really did. Yeah. He definitely getting circumcised. And I'm definitely probably gonna have another baby. I am taking maternity leave. My maternity leave is for six months. I'm on six month maternity leave right now. I don't go back to work until February. My doctor scheduled me to come to the hospital what day they wanted me to come in. I could have sworn I asked for some tape, right? Didn't I ask for some fucking tape, y'all? For my Abby? Why does Kim fucked up like that? Who we see no more? She ain't cut no. Hey, it's hard to see in Mexico, ain't it, boy? Yeah. Better get from down there, but they got all type of shit going on.
Yeah, you can eat straight food all up in the Ah, que estás corcela, damn.